Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the April Shower Scarf. This is a lighter weight scarf that is worked in alternating rows of a series of half double crochet stitches and double treble crochet stitches. And it creates an interesting kind of open uh, pattern that's very easy to do. And for this project, you'll need a tapestry needle, you'll need a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook, you'll need a pair of scissors, and your yarn. I used Knit Picks Brava Worsted. For my scarf, I used about 1.5 skeins of this yarn. However, you can use any worsted weight yarn of your choice. And this is the denim colorway, in case you're wondering. It's kind of a kind of a soft silvery blue. And if you do substitute yarn, just look for one that recommends an eye hook or even um, a J hook, and you can use the eye hook. Just if you're not sure, it's always a good idea to maybe work up a row or two or create a little swatch. But the gauge is not so important in this because it's um, a scarf. It doesn't need to be perfectly fitted. But I use the eye hook and the Knit Picks Brava worsted. So let's get started. The finished scarf measured about six and a half inches across, and I made mine about 48 inches long. I didn't want it to be super long and bulky because I plan on wearing this in the warmer months. However, if you want to make your scarf longer, you can use the full two skeins. I used about a skein and a half of this yarn and mine was 48 inches. You can take it up to 60 or if you want to wrap the scarf a couple of times around your neck, you know, you'll want to make yours longer. We're going to begin our scarf by putting a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, bring up that loop, and tighten. Our scarf has a starting chain of 24. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, and 24. So here is our starting chain, and you don't want to make it too tight. It'll kind of draw on the bottom of your scarf. So let's move on to row one. To work row one, we're going to count the third chain from the hook. This loop here on your hook already does not count. So one, two, three. So in that third chain from the hook, we're going to work a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, Wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the chain, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on your hook. That's the half double crochet stitch. We're gonna go ahead and work a half double crochet in each chain all the way across our row until we get to the end. So again, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring through all three loops. Okay, so we're just going to work half double crochets in each chain all the way across our row. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll rejoin towards the end of the row. So I'm coming up to the end of the row, I'm just working a half double crochet in that very last chain. So row one will look like this. Let's move on to row two. Row two is very similar to row one. We're just going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch across. So we're just going to do the same thing. Work our half double crochets. And then we'll rejoin towards the end of this row as well. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end of row two, and I'm also working a half double crochet 
in that turning chain as well, okay? So row three, we're just going to repeat row two. So chain two, one, two, and turn. And then again, we're just working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So I'm gonna work row three, and then again, we'll rejoin towards the end of this row as well. Okay, we're just finishing up row three, and I'm just working the last half double crochet into that turning chain as well. Okay, so let's work on row four. Row four, if we go back to our scarf, there are these very tall double treble crochet stitches, and that gives it that kind of ladder-like appearance. So to work row five, excuse me, row four, to work row four, we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn our work. This counts as a double treble crochet. So in the next stitch, we're going to work the first double treble crochet stitch. And that is very similar to a treble crochet, except we're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook one extra time. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. You're gonna wrap the yarn three times around the hook. One, two, and three. Insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So you can see that stitch is very tall. Okay, let's do that one more time. Wrap yarn around hook three times. One, two, three. Insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So it looks similar now to our finished scarf, okay? So we're just going to work a double treble crochet. Just get some more yarn here. We're going to work a double treble crochet in each stitch all the way across to the end. So one, two, three. Bring up a loop. We're just gonna work these all the way across. Let's do that one more time. Insert the hook, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Just doing this all the way across. And these really tall stitches will help you move through your project very, very quickly. So we're just working this all the way across. I'm gonna keep going and we will rejoin at the end of this row as well. Okay, so we have a few finished now. We're coming up to the end of the row here. I'm just working the last double treble crochet stitch in that turning chain of our, from our previous row that we made. So row four is complete. So to finish your scarf, you're going to repeat rows two to four until the scarf is the desired length. Once your scarf is the desired length, you're going to work one more row of row two. That's a half double crochet row to give you that nice edge so it will mirror the edge where we began. So when your scarf is complete, you can just cut the yarn with your scissors, go ahead and fasten off with your hook, and then you'll have two ends. You're just going to thread your tapestry needle and then just weave it in. I like to go in one direction with my needle, my threaded needle, and then come back in the other direction. And that's it. And then you just repeat that for the other tail that you'll have, or if you rejoined a new ball of yarn, if you have a tail there as well. And then just trim that off, okay? So, that is how you crochet, let's grab our finished scarf. That is how you crochet 
the April shower scarf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.